Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra math problem? That is, k times k times k is equal to k plus k plus k. So here we will try to find the value of k in this beautiful math problem where here k is multiplied three times. So in the right hand side k is added three times. So what we will do here? Here look to the left hand side here. All of these bases or of these variables are same, having one power. So here we will use the same base exponential identity. When the base is same, so we will write the base one time and we will add their powers. So therefore we can write this as k raised to power. We will add the power, so we will add one three times. And here this number has the coefficient one. So this is added, so this will become this is three times, this will become three k. Now next we can write this as k raised to power, adding one three times, this will become 3 and this will become is equal to 3k here next we will move this 3k to the left hand side so it will become negative 3k and this equation will become k cube minus 3k is equal to 0 now here in these two terms the k is common so we will take out k common from the left hand side so this will become taking k common so here in this term k square is left minus in this term only 3 is left is equal to 0. Now here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this variable this k will be 0 or this quadratic equation will be 0. So from here we will get two equations. The first equation is the value k is equal to 0 which is obvious solution. So let us suppose this is k1 and the second equation is k square minus 3 is equal to 0 now this is our first solution k1 is equal to 0 now we will solve this quadratic equation furthermore two solutions so next we can write this 3 as k square minus 3 can be written as root of 3 whole square is equal to 0 this is because from here this square and square root can cancel each other and this gives him 3 back. Now here in the left hand side we will use an algebraic identity a square minus b square identity. So here we will use this one identity in the left hand side. We know that a square minus b square it can also be written as a minus b times a plus b. So using this identity this algebraic identity we can write this as here a is k and b is root of 3 so this will become k minus root of 3 times k plus root of 3 is equal to 0 now here the product of these two linear equation is 0 so here either this linear expression will be 0 or this linear expression will be 0 so again from here we will get two equations the first one is k minus square root of 3 is 0 and the second one is k plus square root of 3 is 0 the first one we will solve this one equation so here we will move this square root of 3 to the right hand side so it will become positive square root of 3 so k is equal to positive square root of 3 is our second solution now we will solve this linear equation here again we will move this positive root of 3 to the right hand side so it will become negative root of 3 so this will become k is equal to negative square root of 3 so this is our third solution so finally we have three possible solutions in this problem one is k is equal to 0 second is k is equal to square root of 3 and third is negative square root of 3 here we will try to verify these solutions as these solutions are correct or not so we will verify it here let's verify so here we will thus verify k is equal to 0 so let us verify this solution k1 is equal to 0 to verify this solution we will write the problem here now the problem is k times k times k is equal to k plus k plus k then let's replace k with 0 so this will become 0 times 0 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 
zero plus zero. Now we know that multiplying zero any number of times is always zero, and we also know that adding zero any number of times is also zero. Now since both sides are equal, so it means that k one is equal to zero is obvious and correct solution. Now here we will try to verify k two is equal to positive root of three. And k three is equal to negative root of three, so we will verify these solutions here. Now here first we will verify k is equal to positive square root of three. So let's verify this value. K two is equal to positive square root of three. Now again to verify this solution, we will write the problem here. Now the problem is k times k times k is equal to k plus K plus K. Now let's simply K with its reduces to become root of three times root of three times square root of three is equal to square root of three plus square root of three plus square root of three. Now here we can write these two numbers as there is same number multiplied two times, so we can write this in square form as square root of three whole square. Times square root of three is equal to. Now here in the right hand side we will take square root of three common from all the terms. So as we know that we can write one in front of with any number. So taking square root of three common from all the numbers in the right hand side, here only one 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 will be left. So let us take square root of three common from the right hand side. So here one will be left. Here also one will be left, and here also one will be left. Here on the left hand side, this square and this square will be cancelled, so only three will be left here. Times square root of three is equal to, and this is square root of three times adding one three times. This is three. Now next, this number will be the same. Three times square root of three, and here we let us rearrange these two terms, move this coefficient to the front, so this will become three times square root of three. Now, since both sides are equal, so it means that k is equal to positive square root of three is also the correct solution, correct value of k. Now, here we will try to verify the third solution, that is k is equal to minus square root of three. So let's verify k three is equal to minus square root of three. Now, to verify this solution, again we will write the problem here, that is k times k times k. Is equal to k plus k plus k. Now let's simply k with its value that is negative square root of three. So this will become negative square root of three times minus negative square root of three times negative square root of three is equal to here we will add negative square root of three three times. So this will become negative square root of three plus negative square root of three. Plus negative square root of three. Now here we can write these two numbers as in square form. So this will become negative square root of three whole square times negative square root of three is equal to. And here from the right hand side we will take negative square root of three common from all the terms. So let us take out negative square root of three common from all the terms. So here only One one will be left in all the terms, so this will become one plus one plus one. Now here next we can write this number as as a product of minus one times square root of three whole square times negative square root of three is equal to here this will be the same negative square root of three and adding one three times is simply three. Now further here we can write the square over minus one and root of three. So minus one square is simply one because multiplying negative one any number of time which is even power. So that is always equal to one. So that is why multiplying negative one even number of times means two times. This is positive one times. And here when we take the square over square root of three, so square and square will be cancelled with each other. So only three will be left here times. Negative square root of three is equal to. Here we move this number to the front, so this will become 
negative three times square root of three. No, three times one is three, and multiplying three with negative square root of three, we can write this as negative times three times square root of three is equal to negative three times square root of three. Now, since again both sides are equal, so it means that k is equal to negative square root of three is also the exact and correct value of k in this problem. Now, in last, if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos. Thanks for watching.